Very often, when I showcase a build in Last Epoch, or I make a guide, people ask, can I have your loot filter? And the problem with this is, they don't really want my loot filter. They want a loot filter that's good for the build. My loot filter is catered to the exact gear on my character and the upgrades I need at the time. So if I already have a best in slot helmet, I might not even have helmets on my loot filter at all. I might just hide them all, unless it has a tier six or tier seven mod on it. As a result, if I were to share my loot filter, it wouldn't be very helpful. But at the same time, a super generic loot filter also isn't too helpful because most of the things that it'll show aren't upgrades and you're spending way too much time sorting through things you don't actually need. If you're leveling, generic good gear is great. And if you want to know more about leveling filters, I have a video down in the description below that'll help you make a leveling filter for any class or build. This video was brought to you in part due to the generous support of my YouTube channel members and patrons. More about how you can support at the end of a video. But if you want to help for free, you can do so by feeding the algorithm gods and leaving a like on the video or turning on bell notifications so that you see whenever I upload. So how would you set up an endgame loot filter? To start off, here is an empty filter with just some generic rules, such as hiding all normal magic and rares, hiding all things not for my class, and showing unique set and exalted items. From here, I'm going to build the filter out for both things that I would want in the endgame and the specific needs of my character. You might not pick the exact same item spaces or affixes that I'm going to pick here, but if you apply the same concept, you'll easily be able to build an endgame loot filter for no matter what you're playing, and it'll be far more effective at getting you the items you need. To start with, I want to add two generic recolor rules. The point of these rules are to give me some basic stuff and get me going with both crafting and generically good items. So let's just say I make it red. Anything that is red is going to be a crafting material. And then I just do by affix with at least one, and I select anything that I want from this list. So maybe I'm running low on hybrid health shards. So I'm going to use hybrid health here. I also don't have too much of the new affix, which doesn't even properly show up. This is potion cleanse, by the way. I don't know why it's under attributes. I don't know why the name doesn't show up, but this is potion cleanse and you should definitely add it to your filter. Beyond that, maybe I want some lightning pen shards. So I'll add lightning pen. Maybe that's all I need. Or maybe I go in and I decide, you know, some class specific mage stuff. I could also do with a little of that. So I'm going to do spell crit doubled, lightning crit multi. Maybe I want shotgun hit with lightning skills. Maybe I don't want that one. Mana spent gained as ward. And the level of static orb and lightning blast. So these are all my crafting materials. Anything from a giant pile of items that has any of these mods will now show up as red. And the reason that we want to do this early is we don't really want it to be super high up because the item might have more value than just being broken down for shards. The second thing to do is another recolor. This time I'm going to leave it white. I'm going to emphasize it. I'm going to add a condition of affix. For affixes here, I'm just going to select everything. You can turn certain affixes off if you know you won't need them. But as a starting place, all right, well, reflect I'm never going to need. So maybe don't check that one. But almost everything else, you might as well turn it on. If you have any conceivable use for, I might want an item with that mod for my build. Now, I know in this case, I'm a caster, so maybe I don't check melee. Maybe I don't check minion. There's a few things you don't absolutely have to check. And you can go through. But more is better here. And then you go to Advanced Options and total tiers of affixes more or equal to, let's just say 17. So this is gonna only be really, really good items. Now, really good items will show up as white. There's not gonna be many of these. When they drop, it's probably worth taking a look. They might be junk and you can refine this further by limiting affixes. I like a broader stroke because even if it's not good for my current build, it might be good for a future build. From here, the goal is going to be to recolor gear for what you want for your specific character. I'm currently playing Lightning Blast Static Orb, so all the choices I'm making from here on out is going to be based off of that. You will want to make different choices based on your build. 
So to start with, I add a new rule, I add a recolor, and I add a nice green label. For this, you'll want to make sure you only select one item type so that you can pick the correct subtypes. So in this case, I'm gonna select wands. If I wanted both wands and scepters to drop, what I'd have to do is copy the rule after I finish making it, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. So I select wand. From all of the wands, which ones do I want? Well, crystal wand's pretty good. It stacks mana and I can use mana stacking. Profane wand, not as good. I'm not using curses and spell necrotic damage doesn't really help me. Dragonhorn wand is very good. Cast speed is great for my build and adaptive spell damage. So I'm gonna select crystal and dragonhorn. Then I'm going to add conditions for affixes and say, I wanna see any wand that has cast speed, spell damage, and crit multi, and then let's just say elemental or lightning damage. Those are the options. I go into advanced. The tier must be more or equal to tier five. So any weapon with the tier five prefix, I want to show up. And there we go. If I wanted to do maces, I would just duplicate the rule. I'd go in instead of selecting wand, I would select scepter. And then I'd go to the bases, I'd unselect that. And I'd say, all right, I want something like an adaptive spell damage roll. So an obsidian scepter. And you know what? The adaptive spell damage on these isn't too bad. The extra affixes aren't great. Maybe I do pick both of them as well. And same thing. And now I will show both wands and scepters. You can even rename it, recolor rule, wand. And now you know exactly what the rule does. Of course, if you're playing melee, you will want flat damage over the increases. This is just one of those things that varies build to build. Now for the rest of it, I'm just gonna build it out by adding similar rules for each base type. Let's just say I wanted to make a filter for rings. I'm gonna make it blue and I'm going to do item type, ring. What sort of rings do I want? Well, as things stand, I need necrotic res, so I'll want an ivory ring. I don't need fire res, so I'll skip ruby. I could use mana and mana regen, so I'll pick sapphire. I could use all res, so I'll pick gold. I could use crit, so I'll pick copper. And I could always use movement speed, so I'll pick silver. In general, more is better, as long as those bases are all useful to your build. For the conditions, what do I want my ring to have? In this case, if I just say a tier five mod, that's not super helpful. On a weapon, you generally only really care about the prefixes for most builds, so a single tier 5 mod is a good base to build off of. On the other hand, for something like a ring, you want to get a little more specific. So I know generally what I want, that it wants to have either spell damage on it, or intelligence. If I don't want damage, maybe I could add vitality, but I'm not going to at the moment. Elemental damage is fine, lightning damage is fine, crit chance is good. Mana regen is something that I've kind of been wanting in my build, so I will also add that. And those are all my prefixes. Then for my suffixes, what do I want from resistance and armor? Well, as I mentioned, I need necrotic res, so that's one to add. Endurance is always good, so I can add that in. And I could, in theory, swap some stuff around. So maybe I also want, let's just say, poison res. Maybe that allows me to swap gear elsewhere, and it's helpful. Finally, I of course want health on my ring, and it's generally not bad to put crit strike avoidance in. So there we go, we've got 11 possible attributes, and now I like to go to advanced options and the total affix tiers. This is where it depends on how good of an item you want. If I pick eight, it's gonna be an okay item. I would definitely start around eight. Then maybe I'm really happy with my ring, but it's not quite perfect. Maybe I'll raise it to 10. All right, my ring's almost perfect. I'm super happy with it. I'll raise it to 12 or 13. You can always raise these and adjust them later. You can always add or remove affixes. The stricter the filter is, the less items you will see, but the more relevant those items will be to what you want. The broader it is, the more items you'll see. And oftentimes broader is better because you can always take that gamble. Maybe it fractures. Maybe you remove the wrong thing with a rune of removal, or maybe you get exactly the perfect ring of something that started with just eight total mod tiers. And at any time, if I feel like things are too cluttered, I can just easily go in and disable rules. All right, well, now I don't see scepters. Now it's just wands. Or maybe I'm happy with my weapons, so now I just don't see this at all. 
Now I only see exalted ones. You should never consider your loot filter a one and done. Instead, you should constantly be adjusting it based on your needs. The last thing to do to make this really perfect is just move this to the top and just move this to the top as well. So now we're hiding all Primalist, Sentinel, Acolyte, and Rogue specific items, except for unique set and exalted items. And that is how you make an endgame loot filter in Last Epoch for any build. Do you have any tips and tricks that you use when creating loot filters? If so, I'd love to hear about them down in the comments below. And if not, if you've never made a filter before, then I'd like you to try to use this method to make an endgame filter for one of your characters, and also let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching. And again, a special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. If you want to support me, you can do so by clicking the links down in the description below or on screen right now. You can also support by making purchases through my Nexus page. Or if you just want to chill and hang out, be sure to join the Discord. Again, links for everything are down in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.